Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Miles Four Podcast. Today with me, we're gonna take it. We're gonna take it all the way to the East Coast, man. We we, we focus a lot on the West Coast on the channel. We don't give the East Coast enough love out there, and they deserve all the love out there. A new slider team is hitting the streets out there in the East Coast. You'll see them, probably majority of them at SeaWorld's Hollow Scream out there this year in Orlando. But I'm sitting with Slider Syndicate team. Florida sliders, man. How are you guys doing? Like, it, it, this is exciting. Like, Syndicate, man. Tell me about this name. Tell me about this idea to take it out to the East Coast to spread the love out there. Um, I know you guys have that haunt background already. So, what was it like to just finally push the button and go with this with the team? So, I guess the way we have to start many things now is everything's pre-pandemic now. You know, the, the before COVID days. Um, when we were uh, we were at Dark Horizon uh, sliding for the uh, s uh, the same event company that had had been doing a Dark Harbor for years, and um, we had after that year we had thought about we wanted to get the slider community here bigger. People loved it. They saw the event. They loved the sliders. There was it was creating like a fan base of following almost, and we were kind of trying to get it going then. And then of course, like all things, COVID happened and. <laughs> COVID ended that and we kind of, I'll be honest with you, we kind of like let it go. We didn't think we would do this again at all, to be honest with you. I continued where I was just going to do working at HHN and everyone was kind of going their different ways. And then SeaWorld Power Scream became a thing out here and they were looking for sliders. And, you know, this, we started sliding there and then it came about within a couple years into that, Aiden and I, we're talking about like, we should maybe start this up again, and just see where it goes. And this time it probably, I mean, you know, Aiden probably agrees with me here. It exceeded way faster. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's excitement. Yeah. yeah. Way more than we thought it would. Yeah. And um, in terms of the syndicate name, it, we kind of helped come up with it. And Scott kind of, uh, Dieterman of Slider Dynamics kind of helped us too. We kind of came up with the name of Kind of like an almost like a V for Vendetta, like you know, underground kind of organization or behind the like behind your computer screen kind of thing that like they're everywhere, but they're you don't know where they're at kind of thing. That's where kind of syndicate came from. And then we're all big fans of 80s horror. The 80s horror period is always a very popular time and decade for horror movies and everything. And then the synth wave aspect of that. At that time, we kind of merged those two together and kind of came up with Syndicate, which in the theme of you, if everyone that follows our Instagram and our pages and stuff sees that there's a very 80s horror synthwave, you know, theming to it. And we thought it'd be different too, because we didn't obviously want to copy any of the other teams. We didn't want to seem like we were, you know, riding coattails because they've got their thing and they're doing awesome. But right. Things. Right. A little different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I... I mean, I guess I picked the right color today for the set. I mean, I went full Miami Vice with it, so I mean, it, it goes perfect with the with the team, uh, the, the, you know, the vibe. I love it. I, that's what I love. I think what's unique about what you guys are doing out there, and I've I've seen the stuff on Instagram, you know, and um, I'm a I'm a big fan of of what's going on with uh, everyone's look, the feel of the the the, the vibe of it, like. I'm a little jealous it's, it's on the East Coast. I'm going to be a little honest with you on that run right there. Um, you know, and I, I love the, the shoot you guys did when you guys went to the city, kind of just kind of just playing you guys and having a good time. Like, I think that's really cool to have you guys have something similar to how we do with photo shoots out here with, like, in Los Angeles and stuff. So I think it's really cool that you guys are really taking that aspect of, like, that photo shoot kind of vibe out there and uh, making it your own. Um Talk to me about that first, like, that first video shoot you guys did together, because it seems like you guys had a lot of fun doing it, and to see you guys out in costume and just vibing and, and just being you guys, like I said, what was it like? What was the energy like going into doing that video shoot, man? Because it, it looked like a ton of fun. I think Aiden can take this one uh, very well. She helped put it together a lot more than I did, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that. Jordan did pick out the location. There's a bridge in downtown Orlando that has these huge lights 
that just kind of like change colors periodically. And he had the idea. And then we kind of pushed everyone to get the costumes together. And then we had a couple of like loose ideas of like, hey, this would be cool for like a little action shot. And then we had the individual uh, stuff happening. I know at one point I had no clue what to do for my individual shot. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I got in front of the camera and I was like, and Jordan was like, just climb on the fences. And so we had me climbing on a fence, shaking it. And then we had another girl, um, I think it was, I can't remember who it was, but they started crawling backwards. Mm -hmm. And we Damn. had so much fun. We left our car in a sketchy little parking garage, walked half a mile. Praying we wouldn't get towed. Yeah, just praying we wouldn't get towed. Uh, oh, we had man. two friends that are videographers that were there that yeah. were hyped about it and directing us. That's awesome. And no, everything just really came together. We yeah. had like a couple of like extra LED lights in our costumes that were yep. last minute additions that turned out so cool. Oh, everyone just had a blast on it. It was so much fun. I feel like if you guys were to come over here and, and do it in Los Angeles, the photo shoots and stuff, I, I, I know for a fact people would dig all your stuff, man. I mean... I, I've oh, yeah. been out to these photo shoots and they go nuts for especially groups, man. And and it's like I said, I'm jealous I wasn't there to to be a part of that, to 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 to, to see that happen, to witness the behind the scenes of that, because it just looked like a ton of fun. And I love those kind of shoots where you just go out there, you don't really n necessarily know what you're gonna do, but when you get there, the vibe just feels right, and you just do what feels right at the moment, and you create some magic. And that's and that's the fun part about it. And you're doing it with your friends, you know, and that's the best part. Um, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that was my inspiration too. Where you said mentioned real quick Los Angeles. You know, being from Southern California, uh, the Los Angeles backdrop. You know, what I mean, in so many yeah. areas is used not only in film but slider teams, everything you can think of. And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I want that vibe for us mm -hmm. to show Orlando, but still have that same vibe. You know, so it's funny you mentioned that because it's exactly what's kind of going through my head. Well, and I and I and that, I love that so much. Yeah, I, I think I think what made that video special too, especially like you you, you talked about that our, that Orlando background, you know, and I think a lot of these, like you said, a lot of these videos have those like sky skyline backgrounds, those industrial looking kind of areas and stuff, those kind of sketchy areas that would fit the characters and whatnot, you know, and I think that's yeah. that's the best way to sum it up, you know, and those are the best locations to have fun at. I mean, you can literally have the freedom to do what you want. You can really blend in your character however best fit you, you feel. Um, and if it doesn't work for one, it's going to work for someone else. So, I mean, it works out. Okay. Yeah, man. Um, so now you guys do the photo shoot. It's out there. The world knows who you guys are now. I mean, the world, I think when, when you guys posted on social media, I remember seeing share after share. We shared it. You know, everyone was hyped over this 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 whole idea that, the, that you guys are coming together, doing this team. What did you guys think about the initial response that you guys got from that video and going forward? Uh, it seemed like it really brought a lot of eyes and attention towards you guys' way. So, like, I, I imagine for you guys, that's, I mean, that's the most um, best feeling you guys can get out of this. Yeah, I would say, like I was saying a little bit earlier and I was telling Aiden, I think we got like probably 90 some followers just from that video which you know i'll be honest with you my initial page i made for stuff like this we made the top 50 people 40 people <laughs> but you know now we're at least near 400 which honestly is a lot more than i thought ever just for something so small like this but the initial reaction was so positive and awesome and not just because of my connections with southern california and all the haunts and people like you know yourself and everybody that i know out there to be more than supportive and awesome um, I, I, I was like, you know, people in Florida even now that we know that have been sliding, we have a couple people on the east coast of Florida, they've been sliding at a skate park now for probably a couple of years, and they found us through that video and are now connecting with us. That's awesome. And there's a group, yeah, there's a group in Tampa that slides together that we kind of got to know last year from the other Halloween screen at Bush Gardens. And, you know, that connection was even bigger now because a bunch of them saw the video. And um, the feedback was very much positive about the fact that they're like, 
the fact that they said people were saying like the fact that there's a sliding roof in Orlando, they're like it seems like it's been long overdue because it's the entertainment capital of the world. Yeah. And a huge yeah. haunt yeah, a huge haunt Halloween event capital. And they're like, but there hasn't been anything like this. And people were loving the theme, the vibe and everything. So I think it it was way more not that I thought it would be negative, but it was just way more positive and way bigger than I thought it would probably be. Yeah, well, I mean, there's always going to be haters, but I feel yeah. like there weren't any on this video. No, I at so. least, and if they were, they were silent, because I would have seen it, but, you know, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, I think no, I, wasn't. Yeah. I think I'm more of the hater of myself with things and critiquing it than someone else with the because I'm like, I'm trying to be a perfectionist and stuff. But, Trust me, you're always, yeah, you're always going to critique your own work. I have learned that doing this 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 job i've learned that i was like i've watched stuff from when i first started i'm like i can't believe i let that happen um and here we are today uh you live and you learn i mean that's the best thing about it um now i need to talk to you guys real quick about these your characters now aiden i want to start with you talk to me a little bit about your character uh what was the inspiration behind it character's name the personality traits what can we expect from the character But my girlfriend is, is, and we watch it about every week. Okay. <laughs> it's so good. It's addicting. But there's a character, her name is Nifty. Okay. And no one really knows what Nifty's true deal is, but she is maniacal. She is everywhere, and she is just this tiny little demon. And I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm usually a pretty energetic person. And usually, yeah, okay, all the time. <laughs> and you know, I tend to like to cause a little bit of mania around the people that I'm around. So, Nifty was a perfect fit. And then Scott actually helped me come up with the name Bethlehem. Um, it means kind of confusion and chaos, and it's also a very famous mental institution. So it's also a Marvel it character too. That's awesome. I want to go with. Yes. 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 From the X Men. There you go. Yep. Yes. Yep. There yes. You go. So I mean, it's the best of everything. So that's that's a cool. I like that. I like the name. I like the concept. I like the uh, the whole, especially you, you know, adding the real life traits of who you are as an energetic person, and then putting it into the character. I mean, I think for me. As a, as a guest walking through that and seeing that and the interactiveness and, and to see how you you approach the scary stuff like for me that's always the funnest part. It's like if you're in full character and you're going hard to scare me even though I'm six foot six, you, you can drop me still. It's possible. I just you just gotta believe, but it's possible. It's happened before. I love going straight for the grown men. If I can make a grown man cry, my ear is made. <laughs> if you can make someone. If you can make a grown man drop his beer, I mean, that's going to automatically make him cry. So you go. Yeah. Best of both worlds right there. That's a two for one right there, too. Uh, no, I love that. I love that concept. And I think that is uh, perfect for for that uh, for you. Uh, Jordan, talk to me about your character, bud. What, what do we uh, what do we got going on with your character? Oof. I wish I always tell they all have the whole team has great stories and great like background things and this that. And for me, it's always funny because I have had many hot nicknames for, I was telling her, I think this will be my 18th year of doing Halloween. I've had many nicknames and the one that always stands out that they all kind of help me with. Was Jockstrap. <laughs> yeah, it was that one. <laughs> That's not the one that I chose. <laughs> um, that was my pirate uh, nickname. I had. It fits the 80s vibe, so there you go. And that's right, you know what, yeah, it's not my connection. Um, but they were always you know, saying how when I scare, when I'm out there, when we're also just out as a team having fun, I'm always the, the group protector, the group defender, the first one that's going to, if I have to step in with a rowdy guest, if I have to... Chase down a trolley. Chase, yeah, chase down a trolley, almost runs over a, a half of our team. <laughs> Like, it, I'm very much that, they, like, Keenan, one of our sliders, too, and other people have always said that. They're like that alpha presence. And I've actually been called the nickname alpha at other events before. And it kind of just stuck with that to where I'm, I'm, I'm just the alpha presence. I'm the enforcer. Um, I'm the one that they bring in when all other things have been exhausted. And they're like, hey, that six foot six guy is still not being scared. 
they all go and they find me and they're like, go do your thing. So, and I, and I appreciate them all, you know, thinking and, uh, you know, Man. admiring but, you know, that of me and it makes me, it humbles me, but I like to think of this job sometimes as my stress reliever. So, you know what I mean? You get so to I yell at people and stuff. scare them. I mean, I, I would say yeah. it's a pretty good stress reliever. Exactly. So the background of my character is I am the, it's like, the, like back to we're talking about X-Men kind of thing. I'm the weapon X. I'm the one that's like, it. like, you know, hey, when things are going south and we need that, that presence, we need that, that big thing of energy to take those people down and scare them that need to be scared, they call me in. So that's kind of the background of my character. I'm almost certain Jordan just called himself Wolverine. <laughs> just wish. just I weeks admire, just yeah. weeks ahead of Deadpool and Wolverine he called himself Wolverine uh, I admire Hugh Jackman too great man <laughs> <laughs> no I, I I dude I I uh I think that's awesome and and I've always heard uh from Scott and um I've gotten to hear you talk in person at a panel actually out here a few years ago that was really cool um and uh, 18 years in the industry that is just insane especially when you when you hear this man's life it is just insane how he juggles it all but he juggles it all and I and I have a lot of respect for him to do that um, but you know it I think that's 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 fair I mean I know that you've kind of always been uh, from what I'm sounding like that locker room leader that kind of knows how to point and guide and give advice and just kind of be that all for one like Instead of bringing people down, let's bring people up and let's all be at the same level together. You know, like, 100%. I ain't going to lie. I got a little bit goosebumps when you were saying, hey, go scare that six foot six guy. Like, I was like, fuck, Jordan coming at me. Like, I don't know how I would react, to be honest with you. Like, I got goosebumps just thinking about it. I was like, I got goosebumps thinking about when Aiden was going to do it. Now Jordan's going to do it. I'm just like, fuck, I might get dropped twice in one night in like the same, like the same minute. But, um, no, I, I think that's awesome that you guys have these established characters. Who else uh, we got character-wise on the team? Um, because I think all these characters are just awesome. Like, just run by names real quick of, of who we got on there. We're, I mean, so some of them have been, uh, they've kind of, they're still kind of working on some of the nicknames that they, because a lot of the nicknames we always said is kind of like something that someone brings up and gives to you or, like, right. recommends. Like, Scott had that great idea for Aiden. Um, you know, I've had, I've been called Alpha before at other events, and then they kind of mentioned it, brought it back up for me. Um, we have Scarlet, who became Pumpkin. I don't think I said it right. Pumpkin? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. I, I see, I can't I think say that's it. right. I think that's right. Feels right. Yeah. You gotta add, like, a little, like... Yeah, her it. little fan base of, you know, yeah. fangirls and boys, they call it I don't know if she's gonna stay as Pumpkin. I don't know either if she will or not. Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of workshopping still going on. Yeah, right. Keenan has... Keenan on the team, one of our best sliders, he slid at Not Scary Farm, okay. and now he slides with us, and he probably has, like me, he has like six different names, <laughs> which he's gotten for um, like Carnage and stuff like that and other yeah. ones, but... I think Talon is going to stick with Flint Slider. Yes, yes. So I think that is his that one. Flint like Slider. That. I'm not even going to go into the background about that one for him. If anyone wants to find him on uh, Instagram or something, you can ask yeah, him. Yeah, go for it. He <laughs> He's going to get like a bunch of DMs that's out of nowhere of all these random people just asking oh, him yeah. a question. <laughs> and then he's going to be like, what the fuck did you guys say on that podcast? Damn him. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, ask him about his book, too. That'd be great. Ask him about his book. Yeah. Ask him about the book, ladies and gentlemen. I'll ask him for a signed copy as well. I'm just gonna add the cherry on top of that. Um, you guys got to do a team kind of excursion, if you will, at a convention together. Um, how fun was that to get together and go as a team and just kind of go check out the convention and and whatnot? Like, how fun was that for you guys? Um, at least for you know, for at least my opinion on it, how it went, it was awesome. Um, Spooky Empire, I would say it's not yet as big as uh, Midsummer out in California, but Spooky Empire is one of the bigger haunt conventions in Florida. I think they've now branched out to the Carolinas for um, for their convention. Um, the uh, the ownership there and all them, PD and all them, they're awesome. It was great. Uh, we got to talk with them about. Stuff we don't want to necessarily announce right now, but possible future things uh, in the works that I'd like that that I can say, um, which are very exciting. Um, and it was just cool 
we talked to all these different vendors. Some people there even already knew who we were because they'd seen our Instagram. Nice. And um, just, yeah, just a network, you know what I mean? Just yeah. like I like doing all the cons and haunts uh, back in California, you know? And I think, Aiden, you went another day for me. Um, yeah. And you had, I think, a similar experience. Yeah, I wore my slider shirt, and I actually had people that recognized the shirt from the day before. Okay. And they were like, oh, you're a part of that, that slider group. And then that opened up a whole new conversation uh, between me and them about, like, things that we got going on, expectations, here's our Instagram. Like, yep. it was yeah. good. No, and Spooky was a lot of fun. A lot of really, really cool artists there. I really mm-hmm. love that. I, I I think that uh, Spooky Empire has a really really good future out there in Orlando to do an East Coast um, version mm-hmm. of like a Midsummer Scream out there. Especially uh, this past uh, season, I know a huge thing for them was they invited Halloween Horror Nights out and they did a whole uh, house reveal for it out there. Uh, that's huge. That's something that you s- kind of see similar out here with Midsummer Scream and John Murdy. Uh, so I think that was really cool that they're establishing those kind of things. And, and it looked like that ballroom was packed um, oh yeah absolutely insane i mean that, i mean I've, I've seen how that can be i mean to, to people even standing against the walls just so they can see it you know but um, they're growing too they, they told us they didn't tell us where i have my i have my idea of where it's going but um they are um they're leaving that location and for both their fall and their spring show in con they're going to a much larger one, which, again, kind of like you said, I think they have to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, especially any convention that starts to grow that big and get those connections. I mean, yeah, you got to go bigger because you want to get you want to please your fans and keep them happy and keep them coming back. So bigger is better, usually. Um, but, yeah, congratulations on you guys getting those connections out there. I mean, that's huge news. And, and you guys stay tuned because big, big things are coming in the future and uh, you don't want to miss it. I think I might have an idea of what it might be, but I'm just going to keep that to myself. <laughs> you do. I can already tell you. do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that's great. Uh, let's talk about real quick. Now let's, let's, let's hit the rewind button. Now this is, this has been going on for you guys for quite some time. Uh, and you guys, uh, obviously the last time we talked to you, it's been a while since we talked to you guys, honestly, and you guys have done some great stuff over at Hallow Scream. You guys have, uh, also, um, have the opportunity to the last couple of years work with the slider dynamics program um and they come out he comes out and and does his his coaching his teaching his words of wisdom rub the bald head you know go on your way that's just how you got to do it um talk to me about that experience i mean I, i i know scott's program i'm very well familiar with it um and i'm a big fan a big believer in it um, talk to me about your guys' experience and how it, it's actually helped you guys um, grow as sliders, get better, or just things you didn't even know that can help you benefit you in the long run. Absolutely. Aiden, I'll let you take this one. Boom, I'm ready. All right, so the thing about Scott's training on the East Coast, all right, we only have him for about two weeks. Right. Whereas, you know, out on the West Coast, they have him for months on end. So their training gets a little more spread out. Here, we have to do three months worth of training in two weeks, and it is gruesome. We have people growing up in bushes. Like, we train hard for those two weeks. I know the first season, I literally could not walk. I had to go upstairs to an apartment. I had to go up two flights, and I, cried going up the steps. Aiden, I did one day and I couldn't walk. <laughs> one day. And it wasn't even like anything like ma- it was basics. It was one day of basics and I was struggling to go up three steps in my girlfriend's room. That was oh my god. And he keeps nagging on me to keep coming back. He keeps telling me to come back and do it again. I'm like, I gotta work, bro. I can't afford to be missing work. I gotta lift shit. But no, I, I understand it. <laughs> but it does pay off. Right. Because of that, we have very few burnouts throughout the season. We have very few injuries throughout the season. We have very few, actually, usually no like incidences with guests. Um, we don't have like our sliders running into people. We don't have guests getting injured because of us. Like, because of the intense training that Scott does, 
we're able to ourselves go out there with confidence and then Jordan and I feel confident sending the other sliders out and interacting in big crowds because every year Howell's Spring is getting bigger and so we have to make sure that our sliders are going to be safe going through that bigger crowd each year and Scott does a very good job making sure that everyone's prepared for that just a little bit of blood sweat and tears literally going into it but it pays off in the end oh 100 percent and I know uh, I've talked to Scott many times of the trips that he's had out there I know the floor is also not the greatest, but uh, it works for what you guys can do. Um, and so that's, that's you know, I brought that up because it's important to know that what you're telling me statistically for the last couple of years of very to no, very little to no injury, you know, no accidents with guests, like that's within the last three, four years now. You know, and it's like if you're keeping that record going, especially on the grounds that you're running, like something that he's doing is right. You know, he's exactly. doing his job right. Like a single year where someone couldn't finish a run. And that's the point I want to make the most probably about. Great question, by the way. Um, I want to make the most about it is, you know, out here I work at Halloween Horror Nights and I do Hallow Scream and I usually am chainsaws over there and I slide at Hallow Scream. And I've been, I've seen multiple casts out throughout the years, um, been a part of multiple casts. We are the only group that I see at both these major haunts that doesn't lose somebody throughout the run from quitting or major injury and probably has the strongest camaraderie that I've oh, seen. Oh, 100%. Uh, there's good camaraderie amongst many casts at Howard Scream as well as HHN, but yeah. it's probably the most, the strongest one I see and the one that especially to people come up to me, they come up to Aiden, they come up to all of our other sliders and stuff, and they go, how can I be a part of that group next year? Mm -hmm. And that for me is huge because I want to be that group. Like anyone that's going to watch this podcast and they can all say this, sliders sometimes have a little bit of a reputation at events <laughs> as being the ones that think they're better than everybody, this, that. And at times, unfortunately, that does kind of come off by certain people, but for the most part, almost all sliders I meet on all the other teams, all the other events, are just really passionate about what they do. They love Halloween, they love these events so much. It's become more than just a, like a job, obviously, you know? Right. And I like it that when people want to come join us or come be a part of it, we're doing something right in terms of not just spreading this around and getting people like used to it, but it's something that people want to do, something where people feel accepted, somewhere where people can enjoy themselves, and honestly, why are we all doing this at the end of the day? We love Halloween. It's escape from reality. You know what I mean? And it's a little bit of a break, you know? And that's why I love it, too. And I think a lot of that has to do with what Scott's foundation is. Sorry, my name is Theo. Jordan, I, I live Halloween year-round. That's that's just, I, I'm 100% with it. I just got to literally turn around and bam, Freddy Krueger's claw is right there. Like, it's the, you know what I mean? Like, no, I get that. And I love, I love that that mentality going into it. I don't think that, I, I feel like there are some people out there um, that want to just learn tricks and slide and, and just kind of wear the jersey, you know what I mean? It's the best way I can put it. Um, and then there's people out there that want to still continue to honor that legacy that was built way back in the 80s, 90s, and evolve it and and transcend it and, and really involve others in it and do it in the most safest way possible. Um, and, and I get to see that with Scott, I've, I've, I've get to see him work one-on-one -on -one with people. I've get to, I've gotten to see him work with groups of people. Like I've, I've really seen what his program does for people and how it turns them from someone who didn't know how to slide and just put on pads for probably the first time to someone who can actually freaking keep up with Scott himself. Like it's, yeah. it is insane to see the transition, especially when Scott knows he sees somebody he knows he sees somebody because I've heard the stories many times. Like he goes, yeah, there was this one kid I was working with, and I, I could see it in him. He just really needed to be pushed. And I was like, and sure enough, him being pushed, look where he's at now. He's on Ghost Town. It's just, it's, it's yeah. you know what I mean? It's like it, it works. And to hear what you guys are saying, obviously, statistically, this is being proven right here that it works. Um, now, let's get into the fun stuff, man. I want to I know what you guys, how you guys been doing over at Hallow Scream. Um, I have a lot of friends out there who cover the event and who go every single year, who uh, have a lot of fun at the event, talk very highly of the sliders. That's the first thing I ask every single year is, 
yeah, that's cool. But how the sliders do? Like, I, I, you know, I know, I know the guy who, you know, helped train them, and I know the the captains and stuff. Like, how are they doing out there? Like, that's what I want to know. Uh, how much fun have you guys been having out there uh, with the the Howl Scream and, and the Sea World um, coming around now? I mean, this is kind of a new ground for a lot of people. So, I mean, you guys get to really build up from the ground up. So, how how fun has that been for you guys? I'll let you first, Amy. Oh man, honestly, I think this year is the most exciting for me. I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure why. I think it's because we got Syndicate pop in, and we have so many people interested in sliding this year. Oh, yeah. We had the How to Scream audition, and we had kind of like a sign up sheet for like just interest of like, hey, would you like to be a slider? We got, I think I tallied it up. It was sixty eight. Wow. people that signed up for more interest and you know we got a workshop coming up um nice for, like people that nice. signed up for interest yeah and like it's just a whole new crew we got some people that already have experience that are interested so that's awesome we got one from cali that's over here now that wants to be a slider and it's just it's wrapped up to be a really really fun year and i am stoked for it I can hear the excitement. I mean, Jordan, I mean, add on to that because that sounds like it's an exciting time for you guys out there. 68 interest, you know, I mean, that's amazing. Well, 68 started out from the first year we had six of us. Yes. Exactly. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a huge yeah. jump within that time. Yeah, we only had six of us, and it was pulling teeth for me to even find – more and then I had well because I had Aiden and Keenan. It was literally Keenan who's from Southern California like me, and then Aiden who had done Dark Horizons with us, and that was pretty much it. And yeah. it was a matter of literally we had someone on our team, Courtney, who's awesome by the way, great sliding for us. She literally asked me, she goes, "Are you talking about those mini hamburgers?" <laughs> she was like, "Why don't they? What do you need people for mini hamburgers at a Halloween event?" I'm like, oh, boy, "We are starting from square one here." We really are. Hey, I mean, let's be honest. It would be a little bit of a bonus if there was little sliders there, too. You know, I'm just saying. I mean, Keenan, every year at the rap party, dresses up as a White Castle slider. Slider so. slider with sliders. There you go. Slider with sliders, you know. But, yeah, Aiden kind of really covered it well there. Um, I think probably because the, the syndicate thing really taking off now going into this year. Is making that excitement even bigger, and then the conventions that are coming up as well during that time, the the popularity again that it has grown to the point to where again I can, I, can, I wish I could share more at this moment, <laughs> but the popularity to the point that it has now gained the attention, which I knew eventually it would, of a somewhat other theme park down the road that is very large, um, to that point to where it's kind of now like. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I wish I could say that. I know, right? That'd be um, awesome shit. Um, but it's kind of gotten, like, the conversations are being had and all that, and the just the amount of people that just want to learn and just do a skill. I mean, the, how many times do we get people messaging the page about workshops and training? Oh, yeah. And to the point now that where we have, when Scott's not able to be here, the people that train it, uh, train everybody is Aiden, myself, and Keenan. And we're the ones that have done it the longest. And um, it's it's gotten to the point now where we're just like, we have to probably get more of everybody else to start training too, mm -hmm. you know, because the excitement's so so big. And um, honestly, I was thinking about retiring from Halloween. Wow. I was near there. And wow. now, first off, they won't let me. They won't let me. But, um, 18 but years. Also, I mean, that's a good career too. Yeah, and then I'm like, you know, my other career too. So I'm yeah. just like, yeah, having to yeah. that one too. I'm just like, uh, you know, but this is kind of, I'll be honest with you, this has kind of rejuvenated me in a way to where I kind of get that feeling back that I did when I was younger and I was going to Not Scary Farm. I was sliding at um, HH in Hollywood and I was doing those events, you know. It's kind of brought me back to that again, which is pretty cool. Dude, I love to hear it. Now, I wanna I wanna kind of go back a little bit because uh, I we need I think we need to give a little bit uh, more info about this. You guys are doing a workshop? Uh, I think that's awesome. Uh, we just had a f about a month ago, we did a Queen Mary Sliders boot camp out here at Chapman Sports Park. Um, by the way, if you guys ever come out, you guys need to go to Chat Chapman Sports Park. I think you guys need to slide there at least once. That's a must. 
Um, I think Keegan and I are the only ones that have slid there. But the I, whole team wants to. I have the experience. heard about this holy land. <laughs> yeah. And I want to go so bad. Let's yeah. just put it this way: the best way I can describe it for you, that's Dogtown. That's that's Dogtown of sliding right there. That's where that's at. Like that's the best way I can describe it to you. Um, but we just hosted. They just hosted their uh, their boot camp, and you know we, I, you know me and, and my buddy, we were, came out. and We filmed it for them, um, and you know to see the, sh- the the show, the amount of people that showed up for that, you know, and that were eager and they wanted to get practice before season started. You know, uh, a lot of them were doing auditions for knots for sliding tests and whatnot, so they were trying to just kind of get the basics down. But to see that that turnout, you know, that was just we didn't think a lot of people were going to show up like we, we put it out there it got a lot of feedback. We just didn't know because of the audition schedule that weekend with knots and other haunts and then us doing that at, a, at about an evening time. We didn't know how many people were going to show up. Turns out a lot of people showed up and we were very stoked about that. The team, I think, coached them very well. Uh, Scott was there. He was just on the sidelines this time, just kind of watching it over. But uh, he's trained them much like how you were saying uh, of getting them ready enough to train others. Um, So I think what you guys are going to be doing out there, if it's going to be anything similar to kind of getting those people the basics of just kind of what they should be doing diet wise, what they should be doing, sleep patterns, all that stuff that Scott preaches in his program, you know, to kind of help them prepare mentally for, you know, this season. Cause it is a mental battle as well. It's a physical battle, but it's also a very big mental battle, you know, and I can, I can confidently say that both sides of the thing. Cause I've done a night of scare acting, a couple nights of scare acting. I've been through the harassment. I've been through it all. But how much can you actually harass towards me? Like, dude, I'm just going to step up to you and that's it. Um, and that's yeah. it. That's just that. But uh, on the other side of the of things as well is like it, it's just as as me doing what I do. It's just it gets so fucking exhausting because you're like film this, film that, edit this, edit that, and I'm just like, when do I sleep? Uh, but that's why we do it. That's why we do it because we love it, you know. Um, but I think it's gonna be great. So what can you tell us about what you guys are gonna be doing? Uh, what what can people expect coming through, uh, and what 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 are people going to be learning? Obviously. Um, so when it comes to the workshop, very similar in terms of yeah, what a lot of people went through for the Queen Mary boot camp uh, and all that, and kind of like the uh, the decay brigade slide with decay days, right? All that type of stuff, which are awesome. Those teams are doing great jobs out there. Um, it's very similar to that. Um, the thing that we have out here working, I don't want to say against us, but just a little different than the experiences I've had out in California and have seen, is out here it is still so new that we really are, with a lot of people, we are starting from scratch. Right. When um, you know, Southern California, sometimes now you can throw a rock, you know, across uh, Harbor Boulevard and hit somebody that probably knows how to slide. You know what I mean? <laughs> or has seen 100%. sliding. You know yeah. What I mean? Yeah, so we're kind of, you know, here. Now, we do, like she mentioned, we do have some people that now have moved out here um, that are from California that have slid or even from up north that have slid. And that helps a lot to have some people that do have that knowledge a little bit already. And it gives, I think it gives a lot of, you know, competitiveness is good, but it gives a lot of people hope to see all shapes and sizes, all, you know, types of people sliding because it's like oh you know i don't know i'm too small or i'm too tall or i'm whatever it's like no i know people that are all shapes all sizes all types that can slide and it's great when at the workshop they see that and it gives them the confidence so you know we start from very basic basic level um with like skill levels like of course with just knowing how to get down just knowing how to initially go down once you break somebody i've learned more from being able to be a little bit nervous about just throwing themselves on the ground in that way. And I like to call it the landing a plane, you know, you, right. the plane doesn't just drop, a plane glides into a mm-hmm. plane, you know. And you get them into that mentality, usually from there it starts to click, you know what I mean? And um, I'm gonna let Aiden talk about too, even before all that, the whole getting them with the stretching, getting them with all that and kind of what we do from there. Yeah, no, so for our workshops, what we have been doing is uh, luckily, we have our uh, our previous sliders with us usually. And so we'll have them lead like a little warm up jog, um, a little bit of karaoke, side steps, you know, Scott's 
traditional warm-up that also makes you want to throw up, but it's very <laughs> important. And then we do stretches, and then, yeah, go straight into the basics. Um, I know last year we did a workshop, and it was fantastic. Was awesome. Yeah, yeah I think we had, like, 24. Five people show up? Yeah, so for like the SeaWorld ones, SeaWorld kind of does give us a cap. Mm -hmm. We wish we could have more. So what we're working on is having a syndicate uh, boot camp workshop day to where we actually kind of now have our own Chapman Park here in Orlando. Nice. That we can then host a larger number of people for that, which we want to do because there's a lot of people with their kids even that want to learn, you know, and I want to open that up to them. But for SeaWorld, they kind of give us a cap number on it because they really want newer faces to come in and get an opportunity. So normally it's around 25 or so 30 people usually is the cap for that. Because um, it also comes down to gear sometimes because we only yeah. have so much gear. Luckily, we have enough now to help those people and give them gear for the workshop. But if we were to open it up to 60 some people for SeaWorld, that'd be, terrifying. That'd, be <laughs> that'd be a feat to have to try to do. It'd be a monster so, of its uh, own, man. It would be, it would be. But like she's like Amy said, last year it was so successful. Everybody loved it. Everyone was having a good time. Even though they were tired and sore, everybody was laughing and having a great yeah. time. Yeah. You know, it was really, really cool watching our teammates from the previous year create a new camaraderie and accept all of these new people in. And they were even, you know, hey, like I saw you did this. I remember Scott telling me that it was kind of more like this and then watching it click for the other people. No, it's, we had a really good team and I don't know, I'm just excited for the new workshop so I can watch it all again. Like, yeah, that's, that's great. Really fun. That is really great. No, and I, I think that's the best. What I love too is when we did the QM, uh, the boot camp over there, we did uh, a few hours of drills and, you know, practicing and stuff and working with them, try to work with them with guests and how guests would react and stuff. Um, and then at the very end, when it was all said and done, uh, I think we did about a two hour, three hour boot camp. When it was all said and done, we invited everyone to stay afterwards and they can do a free slide. So like they can just go out and have you know fun afterwards. And that's what everyone wants to do afterwards, obviously. It's like, yeah, you know, you're gonna put in, you're gonna put in a lot of work, but you're really there because you just want to slide, you know, and it's. Exactly. Yeah. I, I feel like the free slide is so important too, because that's when you really see people push their limits yeah. and like, all right, so I have like just this basic slide down, but what if I like put my leg like this, what's gonna happen? And watch them like, you know, just turn everything over in their brain and yeah. figure out new things and no, and that's also where you get a little extra soreness from. Yeah. I've definitely had days where I'm like, oh, I'm feeling good. And then free slide <laughs> comes on and I'm like, full send, let's go. <laughs> the next morning, not feeling so good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah I, I, I think that uh, it's great that you guys are you guys are continuing to grow that and push that out there. Um, I think the, the East Coast really can benefit very well off of that, especially for people who are shy, people who are not even of age yet, but want to do this, want to learn it. I've met, I'm fortunate enough to know this kid named Torin out here. Um, and he's on, I believe the eternal nightmare team. And he is, he's been sliding since he was a teenager. He had his first year at knots last year. He's coming back again next year. I hope, I, I don't know how that's going, but the kid on pads is a demon and it is just nice. like just to see that younger generation start at those ages and continue to progress and want to be better and by the time they're not even at their prime yet and by the time they hit into haunt they're ready to go like that i think is what benefits these boot camps and i think you're going to get a lot of those young talents that want to come in who see you guys yeah. at the haunts and go i want to be just like you i want to do what you guys do like i want to i want to be a part of something like that like it's a lot of motivation yeah. for a lot of people, and yeah, and I think you guys play a huge role in that too. No, definitely. We had um, this past year at Hollow Scream. There was one family in particular that they came almost every night. I think that's every awesome. Night. Yeah, and it was. Uh, I think the kids were like fourteen, nine, and like five, and we they became our biggest fans. The kids, the two boys. They got sliding gear. They started practicing at home. 
their parents would send us videos on social media of like, look at them learning, like they want to do this. And I know like they're on my list of people I want to invite one day. Oh, so, absolutely. <laughs> no, absolutely. It, they would come in like our costumes too. The mom That's would awesome. create the costumes. That is awesome. So they were awesome. No, and yeah. like, yeah, seeing that like spark in someone so young is so cool. Now, I have to ask this too, because it, it, you know you had you talked about a family being fans, and I get I see this all the time at Not Scary Farm, so I got to ask it for you guys now. Are you guys getting people sitting in the zones just watching you guys all night? Because I I do that a ton at Knots. I know a lot of people that do that at Knots. I know that's probably a little bit more newer for you guys, maybe. I know H I know it happens at HHN a lot, but um, you guys getting those people just sitting around watching you guys slide all night because that's my favorite thing to do. We have. Yes, we, it's kind of funny because the, some of the same ones that I notice when I'm working horror nights are the same ones that are at Hallow Spring nice. watching. Um, and they, yeah, one night the two ladies recognized me because of my mohawk. Oh, <laughs> um, they, really, they saw me, they saw me with a chainsaw on a Thursday night at HHN. And then they saw me sliding as a clown the, on a Friday night at Hallow Spring. <laughs> And they literally said they 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 did not know my name, but they knew exactly. They said, "That's the chainsaw guy from Horror Nights last night." And I was like, "How in the world?" Did it's the haunt know? fans, bro. They know, bro. They know. <laughs> yeah, they do know. And it, it, we do though. We we get people that have come to the event just they said just to sit down and just watch the sliders. Oh, one of it's our the sliders best. went his girl that way. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Let's that real quick, that yeah, story. I think yeah. that'd be funny. She started coming every night and she was terrified, dude. She would sit in our zone, though, and like I would go over and mess with her, you yeah. know? And she would just sit there with eyes huge. But it turns out she was coming just to see one of our sliders. Yes. And they kind of, you know, started slightly talking and they've been dating oh, yeah. Yeah. ever yeah. since. Oh, yeah. Please I tell me she's involved with Haunt now. She is more, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think wow. she's still a little nervous. Yeah. But she's surrounding herself with people that enjoy haunt stuff. Yeah. So it's it's bound to happen. She comes yeah. out with us when we all go out. So <laughs> yes. she's kind there of, you know. So uh, baptism by fire, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. I, I think that is awesome, though, because, like, to you guys having a fan base like that out there, it's starting relationships out there. I don't think that's the first time I think I've ever heard that. It's probably happened a lot out here, but that's the first time I've ever heard that on this show. So that's that's a first. So uh, yeah, that's awesome. Slider Syndicate, see they're doing first on the on the podcast. See that? Um, I think that's awesome though. And and what about the fan art? They they throwing the fan art your guys' way. I mean, I, I used to see that a ton at knots. I, I used to see people with tablets drawing in real time characters. Like I was impressed by that. They, we de- so <laughs> I'm walking a fine line here with the fans uh, saying about some of this fan stuff, but uh, you know this, you, you, you've done the events, you know exactly. Yeah, I see it all. About. Yeah, it's the, the fan art has happened, it's very <laughs> impressive. Um, it's gotten to the point that one of our sliders went viral because of a what is it called? A uh, book talk. A book talk was written surrounding Ooh. one of our sliders. And as well as kind of the slider group in general, there is a full-blown book that was written, a story about him. Yep. Wow. And about him being a slider, and it's, it's, um, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in that book. Yeah. You're like, it's I something. <laughs> when yeah. I tell you that there's like, I, I'm, I'm going to say it, we can, we're like, I'm going to need a link, I'm going to need a link to this yeah. after this podcast is over, because I got to see this for myself. We're, you know what? There's certain kind of fantasy books out there that people read things, and there's one about sliding now. Like, it's crazy. Wow. Fan fiction at its finest. <laughs> Gotta love it. It is. It's crazy. I mean, let me tell you this. Last year, when I came out for my birthday to go to the 50th for knots, right? So good. I had a great night, and I saw people I knew, got to you know reconnect with a bunch of people from out there. Literally had two people come up to me at Not Scary Farm last year and go, hey, this guy is one of your sliders, isn't it? <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, you actually know about him in this book talk thing, and I'm in Southern California right now. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> like, it was insane. I just... The Hog community is a lot smaller than you think. 
it is. Oh, boy, it it is really it. is. Once I think that I've I've seen a lot, I truly am surprised. Every year, every year, there's something, and this year it took the it took it all. I mean, last year it took it all. I was just like, I could not believe it. And he's a great slider of ours. I'm, you know, and he won't talent his name. He's a great slider. He's one of our best. Yeah. Um, he, I don't care what he says. He loves the attention. He's gonna tell you he doesn't. He loves the attention. He loves uh, the book. He read it. He loves the book. I'm sure. Yeah, he read it. <laughs> was the art at least decent? Like, was it at least good drawings? Like, not good in the way of, like, I don't know, appropriate, but at least the art style was cool. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, like, I don't know, like, I, I was just so shocked. <laughs> they were all telling me that, I said, they're all just trying to bust my balls because they all do that. Uh, and then I got mad, and I'm like, no, this is a thing, this is legitimately a thing. Wow. Like, yeah. Bravo, it's bravo. Bravo, oh, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Is it appropriate enough yeah. to put it in the podcast? I, I mean, YouTube guidelines. Link? Yeah, I mean it's you know, like you said. I mean, there's there's a there's a porn for everything. Yeah. There is, there is, uh, there is. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I think it's I think I think it's really cool though that you guys are getting some good recognition out there, and it's been going on. The event's been going on for a few years now. Um, and that's starting to build up more and more. It seems like every year I start hearing more and more people going out there, more and more people checking it out. And I still ask the same question every time, but how the slider's doing. Um, we appreciate it. I think, uh, you know, my brain, the minute I heard about this group, my brain's gears started turning as far as like, how cool would it be to see them team up with QM sliders for something real quick, you know, or how cool would it be to see them team up with all these other slider groups, you know, like, is there like, if, if the stars ever align, if it ever can happen, would you guys come out here, do a, do something out here? Uh, let's just, let's just example, just pulling this out of the rabbit hat. Uh, a convention invites you out to do a show. Are you guys out here? Is it is it possible for that to happen? Never say never kind of scenario. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. We our team brings it up all the time. Um, I come, you know, I come back from the cons out there and I tell them about what I see and experiences in the past. And if the stars align and it worked out and we can make that happen, however you know feasible that in a way we could, we would one hundred percent be fully involved and supportive of that for sure. Yeah, a hundred percent. Cause I, 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 I'm so mad that I can't see it in person with my own eyes every single year. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to get out there right now. The calculated estimate time of arrival for Knights of Horror to get back out in Orlando is around Halloween Horror Nights next year. Only That's because, awesome. only because Epic Universe is going to be open as well. So I got to go see that. <laughs> You know, that that's the only reason I want to go, to be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'd be lying if I said I'd, I want to see High Train and Dragon, but, you know, that's just... Who hey, doesn't hey, want to see Toothless? <laughs> you know? You get to meet him. How awesome is that? Yeah, you get to meet him. I mean, it's great. Um, no, that's the plan, though, and if, if the stars can align, I want to try to get out to Hallow Scream. If, it's, if, it's, if they decide to return next year, I'm very much hoping. I, I always love to see Haunts succeed. And uh, we need more in the, in the world. Um, I would we'll look you up too. No, we got you on ticket. Oh man, I appreciate that. Thank you very much, very much, very much. Um, I, I, you know, there's a lot of talks going out right now. I have to get your guys' opinions on this. There's a lot of talks going around with Horror Unleashed, the Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights year round out in Vegas. I just thought of an idea. You know, Vegas is also becoming the next big entertainment capital of the world. Slider syndicates take over Las Vegas. Take over Horror Unleashed. We got to get some connections out there. The yeah, horror scene is know, popping I, out there too. I yes, it is. I'm actually very. It, it's funny. I I used to say growing up, living you'll you'll relate to this. We used to say growing up living in Southern California that Vegas was a California poor man's uh, vacation. Yeah. <laughs> even though even though now it's not so poor. And now I'm going like fucking at least twice a year, and I'm just like, yeah, this is. I'm getting my comp rooms and everything, so yeah, it's poor man yeah, still. Yeah, I mean, I, like anyone that says we all could say Southern Californians are like, oh Vegas, we don't do that. We're all lying. We all we're went lying. to Vegas. Yes. We all go to Vegas. It's great. Okay, yes, 
Exactly. And now that that is going to be there, um, that is a huge thing there, I think, honestly, a huge game changer there. They're talking about it out here. I know they're talking about it in California. And um, that is definitely something that um, through just hearing my connection to doing HHM for so long and knowing the management, talking to the management, always, I'm always, whenever I'm around them, I always like dropping dropping little hints <laughs> and things. And just to a the little point. whisper in the ear. Uh, just a little bit. You know, Man. there's a spot that everyone likes to hang out at after HHM as well that, you know, it's a good spot to just unwind. And sometimes there might be management there and I go over and I'm like, hey, so-and-so, here's the drink you like. Let's talk about something. Hey. And the point that they now know it as, you know, like they're like, Jordan, you know, we know, you do this, you do that. And their first question is always like, like all these haunts, you keep doing it, this, that. But they're like, but we appreciate the passion and the love of wanting to grow things, you know? So, hey, if things ever, if things are ever brought our way, the answer will never be a hard no. It is always, the door is always open to hear and look love into it. what the possibility is. I love it. I mean, we didn't even get to talk about, you know, haunts out in Germany Japan, oh, you know, that's another yeah. dream right there for all of us, I think. I want to go out there for haunt yeah, season yeah. one year. Um, but, you know, I think we're going to get there in the future. We just, it's a lot of time and work, right? That's all it is, is the grind. Yeah. All it is, is the grind. <laughs> uh, talk to me about uh, how excited you guys are for Hallow Scream 2024. Um, you know, it's coming really soon. It's a lot quicker than you think. It's going to be here right before you know it, man. And, uh, I know that they've already started doing the casting process, which is a huge uh, open, uh, it, you know, invite for anyone who wants to come out and be part of a team. Um, so we all know that that's kind of uh, in progress. They're, you know, probably already hard at work getting things ready to go for the season. What are you guys looking forward to this season? What is something that um, that you're looking forward to as a team? Like, what 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 what's the excitement level looking for this season? I mean, Aiden. Hearing it from you earlier, I mean, you you are stoked, man. I mean, and, and I think it's going to be a fun season just hearing it off of your excitement. So, well, I'll let Aiden. How about you talk to let him uh, know and everybody that will be watching about, yeah, the team aspect and that sense and all that. And maybe I'll go into more about in terms of actually on set the slide and stuff. Hundred percent. Well, I yeah. know Hollow Stream. They just announced, uh, I think, two new houses and like three new scare zones. They just dropped everything on the website. Nice. Yeah. Um, it's still unofficial where all the sliders are going to be, um, but it could be a lot of fresh faces coming in, and more than likely you'll see some clown sliders, Ooh. which will be exciting. Uh, Very popular thing. Like yeah, that. no, 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 which it was a fun role, let's be real. It the carnival fun. is making its way to the East Coast, man. Can't stop them. <laughs> Yeah, I knew it was called Carnival. Yeah. Like, especially <laughs> Keenan and I, we heard that and we both, because Keenan was a clown in Carnival. Right. For years. <laughs> and the fact that he's like, I'm literally. Can't escape it. Italy. He can't escape yeah, he's it. He's like, I can't hear it. He's like, I'm back on the Carnival on the East Coast. Like, that was hilarious. <laughs> I think he was in Carnival on the East Coast. And now he's been in Carnival on the East Coast. That's like, funny. <laughs> Again, very small uh, world. Very small world, but like Aiden said, um, in terms of two things, like a lot of returning faces and uh, we'll have a lot of new faces, which I think is always good to have. And yeah. then in terms of sliders involvement in the event, um, things that we were used to in the past that everyone loved, and then some new things that will be coming that I think are going to make the mark of sliding on the event even bigger than it already is. Yeah, I'm excited for you guys. Jordan, Aiden, uh, and, and, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a big uh, viewer of haunts all across the country, all across the world. Um, so you best believe during haunt season, I'm going to find any and all footage I can with Hallow Stream out in Orlando at SeaWorld and, and see what you guys have to bring to the table this year. I mean, but you guys don't disappoint. I get... I get little, I get little videos from Scott during uh, past years boot camps and stuff. So I mean, if that's gonna happen again, who knows? I don't know shit. I don't ever know shit, and I like to keep it that way because I like to stay surprised. That's the problem with the haunt community. Today. There's too many leaks. I just like to, I like to stay surprised. There's always leaks. Too many damn leaks in this community. Um, no, but I, if uh, you know. 
I have 100% faith in you guys this year that you guys are going to kill it. Um, and I cannot wait to see. I'm always, I mean, it's the same thing going over here with Knots this year. We're going into 51. A lot of people step down in 50. A lot of new faces going to be out in Ghost Town, out in Carnival, Goring 20s, Forsaken Lake, the Gauntlet. Um, so I'm excited to see the new talent, what they have to bring to the table, what their energy is like, what, what, what they can make theirs, make their more originality and stuff. Same thing with you guys. I bet you're excited to see new faces, some new original characters, and, and to see how, uh, how people can progress and, and go forward with it. I mean, it's going to be an exciting year. I feel like now that I'm hearing it on the East Coast, too, it just sounds like Haunt Season 2024 is just going to be a banger year this year. I mean, the, everything is stacked across the board. I mean, Six Flags is bringing in the IPs. Who would have thought that would have happened? Um, you know, Halloween... I was shocked. I was like, where did we get HHN money at? Because... Well, I, you, I know you know this too. The, the Six Flag Fright Fest days of our time when we were younger are far different than it is oh, now. Way different, bro. Like, it is just... Everyone used to talk so much shit about that haunt. Now it's it gets praise. And I got to... Again, that next generation coming in. It's got to be that, dude. It's got to be that. But, uh, yeah, all across the board, haunt season's looking good. Uh, Horror Nights is looking good. Knots is looking good. Hallow Scream is looking good. Um, the only thing left is to throw on the pads and have a hell of a season, huh? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And it's came very fast already with everything. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mid-July already almost, you know, and it's nuts. And this year everything's starting early. I mean, HHN this year here is starting in August. Yeah. Dude, two months of haunt. I never thought in my wildest dreams, we would take over September. I, 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 I really feel for that guy. Are you working that again? Don't, don't, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it, Jordan. That's a lot of haunt days. Don't overdo it, bud. I, I, every year I, I say it, I, I'm doing, I, you know, I'm doing both again. As of now, unless some things change with some of my scheduling, but as of now, the plan is I'll be doing both again. Oh, man. I'll be working my, my, my job also, and um, that one year, I was asked from another local haunt to come in and slide for them for a couple of nights because we're special nights, and I, I worked three haunts, oh my and God. I was doing my job. We keep it really caffeinated. Do you just stack your vacation days for haunt season? Like, that's... <laughs> so that's it. That's the only answer. I do. Most of my vacation <laughs> time is yeah is used within haunt. Everyone at my everyone at my fire department like has referred to me in the past as literally like pumpkin boy, um, the Halloween guy. You know, um, they love what I do. They no, forget Alpha. You're gonna be like yeah. the pumpkin lord. From now the on. pumpkin yeah. lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. They love what I do. Like, they'll come through, like, on duty. They'll come through the events, and they'll find me. Like, you know what I mean? And yeah, because they could just walk in and just be like, hey, we're on duty. So it's like, oh, bam. Yeah. <laughs> they'll come through, and they're like, oh, we're doing a fire inspection. I'm like, okay, Where the hell is Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, it's, um, I, I stack the vacation days. My, my, my crew knows what I do every year. They know every hot season in the fall, Jordan's going to be gone for most of the you know, yeah, I still do work. I just usually on the weekends, I, I use vacation time. Get it going, man. I mean, that's that's the best way. I mean, I'm the same way a lot of people know. September, October, that's my season, man. I'm like, if I'm going to miss a Friday or a Thursday here or maybe even a Monday, like, just don't call me in for a meeting because it's all for purpose. Um, it's all, exactly. It's all exactly. for purpose. Uh, no, I'm excited. I got to get out there one year. Um, hopefully, if the stars ever align, I'd love to see you guys one day at Midsummer Scream. I think that would be an awesome opportunity for you guys to come out here and check. Jordan, I know you had the opportunity to check it out out here a couple times. Um, it's fucking, it's the Comic Con of Halloween conventions, and you guys would fit perfect in there. I think that I tell them, I'm like, you know, first off, the showroom in general is so big, yeah. and then the Hall of Shadows is to me the it's a playground. Thing. It's, it's an adult it's a playground. playground. That's it. That's what it, it is. is. It's all haunt. It's a haunt playground. That's just where you go play and have a great time and walk through. And the Hall of Shadows this year looks stacked. They're having a Scooby-Doo maze at one of the haunts. I heard about that. I heard about that. I was like, awesome. it's it's like, and it's not even small. It's huge. It literally is huge. Like, it's not even small. Yeah. Like, it's massive. Yeah, Lion, Lionsgate's coming in doing a whole, uh, they're doing a whole maze with Plague Productions. Um, so yep. that's cool. Shout out boy John Cook. Love him. That's my homie. Yes. 
Um, and, he, and they run the event there. I mean, the, like you said, the panel that I was very, um, very happy to be a part of during their um, holiday, you know, yeah. on that they do. Um, they, they're so cool there. They run such a great event there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I know like, you were having them on your podcast. They're such good people. A great, great people. Um, all right. Moment of truth. Where can all the new fans that just listened to the first time today, now that they're invested, now that now we gave them the, 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 the buy-in, where can they officially buy in to you guys? Where can they follow you guys on social media? That is, uh, what's what's the best way to, to keep in contact with you guys? Well, it's funny because uh, shout out to Kier, our social media and website manager. She's built an awesome website and runs our social media. And I think I, I'm being biased, but I'm not being biased. Like if I was a part of this, I would look at it still and be like, that's awesome. Yeah. Sick so website. Sick website. Um, thank you so much. She's done an awesome job, and um, I, we really couldn't do a lot of this without her. I think Scott and I literally had a text conversation for a good 30 minutes just talking about that website. Oh, yeah. No, she's she is truly a – and she has, like – she has college degrees in doing that stuff, so, like, she's a pro. Like, yeah, she's over there like this is just baby's work, and we're like, wow, you yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm yeah, over yeah, here like, no, know. it's not. <laughs> Yeah. I would have to be like two bottles in of like Jack and Coke. So like, and, even... and good choice. But in terms of, yeah, the, like you said, the, everything's linked on our, I'll just say our Instagram because everything's linked to our Instagram that you can find everything else. But it's sliders, like I said, with the, like, with the, uh, the two S's, um, sliders syndicate official um, on Instagram. So at sliders syndicate official there it would is. be the way to find us on Instagram. Look for the logo. I love the hand logo, by the way, of like someone peeking oh, through the hand. That is so dope. Um, That's that is not my face. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know I have a very certain. Uh, I like how you immediately <laughs> came to. That is not my face. That is not my face. Um, yeah. Well, real quickly, funny thing about it is, so growing up in Southern California, I loved. I was a skateboarder, all that stuff. I loved the old skateboard surf designs. You know what yep. I mean? And I kind of had that inspiration when doing this with the handprint, not only sliding, you know, the hand, but I kind of got that vibe with it with like an old skateboard or surf brand, like Vans, Quicksilver from the 90s. Yes. And, and that's kind of where it came from. And then we have here, like I said, we have the state of Florida showing the year that we technically really did start all this in 2019. Because I really do want to give respect to 2019 because really if that, if that, yeah, if 2019 did not happen at Dark Horizon, Syndicate would not be here. Yeah. Damn. So, there it is. Uh, yeah, so I had to do that. So that's there. That is again. That is not my face. Um, but, uh, yeah. So that is our. Uh, that is our symbol. I love it. No, it's great. His face. This is not my face. I'm gonna laugh one day if you're at a convention and guy goes, it "Looks really like your face, bro." Yeah, bro. Like, I think yeah, the whole I team would laugh. A deteriorating skeleton, saggy. Like, you know, eyes of, like, raccoon eyes going, like, yeah. You know, fine. It's my thing. It's fine. That's true. That's true. That actually, I can't deny that part. So, yeah. Oh, man. Aiden, Jordan, it has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for the time and uh, the, the, the opportunity, once again, to uh, get the more traction and exposure out to the team. Um, I really think what you guys are doing out there is wonderful, terrific. Um, you know, you see a lot of that on the West Coast. You're not seeing too much on the East Coast until now um you guys are really boots to ground there establishing that freaking base camp and now you're going to establish that community out there even more it seems like every year it's getting bigger and bigger with you guys more and more people are getting to the opportunity to talk to you guys over social media in person recognizing the group recognizing what you guys do out there recognizing you guys at haunt you know especially if you're wearing a mohawk and working two haunts definitely recognizing you <laughs> Um, yeah, right. But, uh, in all seriousness, I think what you guys are doing out there is just, uh, like I said, a game changer. And I think that you're going to see that, that haunt community out there start to build, uh, more and more every single year. Um, no matter what haunts are out there, because, uh, let's be honest, sliding is starting to become global and, um, it's starting to take over Midwest, overseas in Japan, Germany, um, China, birthplace out here in california out there in freaking florida now you know and it's just it's starting to become more and more every single year and it helps when we have groups like you out there to continue to expand that 
that art form that we we all that we all know and love. Yeah, and thank you by the way for having us. Like I know Anytime. we Aiden and I have worked on your podcast before. Yeah. Um, we appreciate your all support and your support. You've always been such a awesome guy and an awesome podcast. Appreciate and that. Not just like for like the community in general, the hot community, but the individuals that do this, you know. So truly, like your your podcast is one of the best. And hey, we, appreciate we that. really are humbled to be on on it. Thank you so much. No, of course. When I when I when I heard the team uh, I, I wanted to do this way sooner, and then I was like, why didn't I do it sooner? What better time than a nice summer going into haunt season? Uh, it was, it was, it was, I think the stars aligned with this episode. So, no, thank you guys again for the time. I know the time difference is a lot different out there, too. Uh, I'm three hours behind. You guys are three hours ahead. So, as you guys can see, you guys are probably wondering, why the hell is it still sunny outside in his house? <laughs> like, that is, you know, for California, they know that. For the East Coasters, they're like, what the fuck's going on right there? It's dark time. <laughs> so, um, I, I really appreciate you guys, and I, I hope you guys, I wish you guys the best out there, and I continue to continue to grow and continue to be the best you guys, because uh, that's where it's all at. That's where the fans are. That's, that's why we do all this, because we love each and every one of the fans. They're the ones that got us here. They're the ones that are going to keep us here, and they're the ones that are going to continue to grow us to get even further. So um, can't wait to see what you guys do in the future, and I can't wait to see what you guys do for the 2024 haunt season. But if nothing else more, Jordan, Aiden, thank you again very much. Check out the Syndicate team on Instagram, Cider Syndicate. Check them out. You're not going to want to miss anything. Go check out that video we talked about in the very beginning of the episode. I highly suggest it. I've seen it a few times because the, the editing, everything is just on point, everything. Um, so check you all that out. Check yeah, you guys did a great job. I I, I, I literally study shit like that. So I'm, I think it's, it was beautiful. <laughs> so um, Yeah, check them out. Follow them. And if nothing else more... I'm your host, Anthony. You guys are watching Miles Horror Podcast each and every week this summer. Check it out. Nights of Horror Radio on Twitch, live every single week. Check it out. Follow us on all of our socials. And stay spooky. Stay spooky.